feel. So more the strength, more the tilt will be there, and it depends upon the dimension of your ferret rod. So how is the ferret? How is your ferret rod? So if we are having the supply polarized wave, we can we can shield the supply polarized wave by introducing your ferret rod and the magnetic field. This is the basic principle on which uh, you will have uh, your uh, some of the micro components that we have. Isolator is also one of my 
microwave component. It is similar to a generator. Here, what we are doing that here we are introducing the resistive card, and apart from the resistive card, here what was the twist is the twist is in the reverse direction as compared to your generator. In generator, if you are twisting it in one direction, here in case of isolator, we have to twist it in another direction. We have to make a twist in such a way that. Here we are having the electric field. After passing through the twist, it should make a rotation of 45 degrees, and this rotation is anti-clockwise direction. Earlier, if you are seeing, there you are having 90 degree rotation, and you are making the twist in such a way that uh, that will be clockwise 90 90 degree. Here you are having a anti-clockwise 45 degrees. Suppose if you are making the twist like this in case of your isolator and in case of your generator, in isolator it will just reverse. Okay. So because of your this twist, you will have anti clockwise rotation of 45 degrees and after passing through your this ferrite rod in the permanent magnet, you will have a further rotation of 45 degrees and this is in the clockwise direction. And you are seeing that as output, what you are getting the your power, there will be no change. That, that means that you will have a zero attenuation. So whatever the power you are giving at your port 8, uh, port 1, all the power you will get at your port 2. Okay, without any attenuation. So whatever the, whatever the power that you are generating here, total power you will get here. Total power. Okay. On the other hand, when you are giving input at your port 2, here, because of your this uh, uh, correct rod and permanent magnet, you will have a rotation of your 45 degrees. Uh, Okay, and it will be a clockwise direction. And again, when it is going, when it is passing to the twist, you will have further rotation of your further degree that is into your clockwise direction. And if you are seeing the output here, here you will have the electric field which is parallel to the earth surface. Here, so this is the electric field at, at, the, at the input, this is at the input at the port 2, and here you are having it is parallel to the earth surface. So as it is parallel to the earth surface, it will absorb the total power. It will absorb the total power and it will not get anything at your 